What's going on everyone, this is Trevor here for RSG, and today we're going to be taking a look at something that a company called Toner sent to me. It's a microphone kit, and if you're on a budget and you want to start streaming or doing some content creation and you really want to not spend too much and get something pretty cool, well, this might be it, because it's under 60 bucks, and it's a whole kit right here. That's right, this whole thing is a kit, and we're going to open it up, we're going to check it out, we're going to test it out. Compare with this mic behind me, that nice blue Yeti, and also you can compare with what I'm using right now. But if you want to find out more about this, you know what you need to do? Like always, you need to stick around. So here we are with our Hear No Evil, Speak No Evil, See No Evil little statue to help open up this box here to check out the contents inside. So what do we have? Let's open it up and boom, we've got a pop filter. Look at that, it's a nice little pop filter there. Let's take this thing out of the package. All right, and then we can take this package and throw it there and we'll do something with that later and reuse it or something you don't wanna waste. Anyways, uh, so we have this nice feeling uh, pop filter. I'm not gonna lie. It actually feels really nice and it's uh, a little creaky on the bending But it does its bendable needs and has this little thing here with a rubberish kind of plasticky foot You know still cheap, but does a job But then let's take a look at something else. Let's go in here and we have Oh look another windscreen. So there you go you got your windscreen Then you've got your shock mount your shock mount is gonna be I think the only way you can mount this thing on there because from the threads that I saw, and they don't give you anything else, it's really, this is the only way it can sit in there. You'll see when I take out the microphone, because I've actually looked at the microphone alone itself, because everything else is kind of generic and we all know about it. So this is going to be, of course, your little base uh, for your scissor arm mount here, your boom arm mount. We can get that out of the package. You can, you can go, come on, you got it, you got it. Oh, look at that. So this is going to be your boom arm, scissor arm kind of thing going on here. And you'll be happy to know that unlike a lot of the cheap ones, it actually comes with the bigger thread right off the bat. So that's kind of nice on there, but it's still going to be a little noisy kind of thing, making noises and be kind of what it is, but it's great that it comes with it. I mean... So, of course, you're going to put your shock mount onto there. I kind of like the feeling of those threads. they got a little bit of an edge to it, and they don't, they're not sharp, but they kind of like, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It feels good. Anyways, um, so, yeah, you have uh, good old things that you can hear some springs hitting. So, yeah, it's nothing crazy. It's, it's you know, you're getting this whole kit for under $60, so don't expect some Rode microphones kind of thing here. Uh, but then, you know, who knows, it might sound amazing as far as the, the unit, but I'm talking about all the other stands. So you got your USB with a US, uh, USB Type B, which those are very sturdy. I like how sturdy these were. You know, some of these other USBs are getting kind of scary. And then you've got the microphone. And this thing has a heft to it. I'm going to have to say it's got a nice heft to it. I like that, you know. But see, here's the threading. I, I mean, I'm sure it has its own base that it comes with with whoever originally it was designed for or whatever but you know for it, what it does it's it, what they gave you it, it's fine and but i mean it doesn't have the original desk mount i'm sure that that's what would go on to there but then you've got your volume up and down and uh your usb type b so yeah well that's gonna be that let's go test this bad boy out it does feel like it's got some weight so let's hope it lives up to uh some nice quality here. Let's get to it. So now we get to hear what the toner, or tonor, however you want to say it, Q91 sounds like. It comes with this cheap but effective pop filter to help filter out all those poppity pop pop pops you got going on, hopefully effectively. And it also comes with this short but effective microphone boom arm. Now me, I like to have this pile microphone boom arm here because I like how much having length helps me out and I like to show off the length that I have. So what can I say? I like to have a bigger boom arm. 
But anyways, we're here to talk about microphones. Not boom arms exactly, but this whole kit is under $60. Under $60, and you get all this to help you start streaming and get content creating in no time. Well, as long as you have all the other stuff to go with it. But... That's it for this microphone. I think you've heard how it sounds. There is a uh, volume up and volume down rocker on this right here. I think you can see that right there. As a volume up and down rocker, if you hold the volume up or hold the volume down, it will go into mute, and then you hold it to bring it out of mute. But volume up and volume down will also control the microphone volume. Uh, now, this does not have a pass-through where... This does, the Yeti does have a headphone pass-through. I'm not one that uses that, but if you are, this one does not have that. Anyways, let's go in for comparison and let you listen to what the Blue Microphones Yeti sounds like that I have up here. So let's swap over to that, and I'll be right back. So now for comparison, we will look at the Blue Microphones Yeti. Well, yes, this thing is nice. It's got a mute button. You don't have to hold nothing down. It even comes with a bass stand and everything. And this has a uh, volume control for your headphones that you could put directly in. And it's USB as well. So, yes, the Yeti is a great microphone. It sounds outstanding, as you can hear. It sounds great. But there's the thing. That whole kit right here is under $60. This right here just for the microphone alone is anywhere from what I've seen 90 to 120 dollars so if you're trying to get streaming on a budget you're gonna want to go that route so let's get back to that microphone so you can hear it and I can end this video now that I'm back on the toner Q91 it's time to give my final verdict on this and wrap it all up and what do I have to say about this and what's my final verdict I give it a big thumbs up this thing sounds great. It's got USB plug and play with a USB B connection, so you know it's not going to break on you like some micro USB connection. So you know you got that going for you. You got the shock mount, you got the pop filter, and you got the boom arm, even though it's short and they all can't be as big as my boom arm here. But it still does the job and does what you need it to for under $60. Does it sound as good as my Blue Yeti? No, it doesn't sound as good as my Blue Yeti. My Blue Yeti is also double the price for just the microphone, but it sounds darn close. It sounds great in my opinion, and you can hear me speaking now. What do you think? Like I said, for the $60 that it cost, or under 60 before tax, I think it's darn well worth it. And if you're trying to up your game for content creation or streaming, and you have some kind of headset mic, throw that thing away and get yourself this kit right here. But that's all I got to really tell you on that. What you got to do is check below for the in the description for any of the links that I'm going to post for any products. At this time of the video, this is unavailable, but I'm sure that's not going to be for very long. And I'll have a link for that as soon as possible. But I'll also have a link for this guy right here, too. Anyways, let's have my outro tell you the rest of the stuff you need to do, like all the following and subscribing you need to do. So you know what you need to do is stick around for the outro. Like right here. Thanks for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more, you got to make sure that you subscribe. Help me out by liking, sharing, comment down below. You know you want to. You want to get that interaction, so comment. And make sure you follow Twitter at Ready Set Game 87. This way you can see what I'm up to and what's going on. For all those who like watching my videos, I'll see you next time.